Good morning, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to my channel. It does help me to get your energy and give you more um, clarity on a situation that you need to know about. So I felt guided to come down by the river today. Um, very interesting, as soon as I came down here, I felt this overwhelming emotion that um, came over me. I do feel that there has been a lot of suppressed emotion around you at this time. There's a feeling of wanting to release that energy. Um, I get a feeling for somebody that wants to live um, differently to how you are at the moment. Possibly you want to live like self-sufficient, maybe you know live naturally. Um, possibly if you have children, um, there's something about them um, maybe not being happy at their school and things like that. Um, so let's get into where we're at now. So if that resonated with you, then this is possibly a reading for you today. However, if that doesn't resonate with you, there may be other information that comes out as this is a collective. There's going to be parts that will resonate and parts that won't. So just take what does, but don't try and make anything fit. So let's see what runes we have for you today. I was, yes. So this is, you are going through an initiation stage right now. So you may feel like a little bit of a tower moment. Maybe things aren't going exactly how you planned. Maybe you're having thoughts and feelings that are bringing up some form of emotion, which might be confusing for you. It's a time where perhaps you're feeling unsupported as well. So you may feel like you, you could do with more support around you of things that you can trust. There's an energy of feeling like there's something that you can't trust that's going on around you. Um, so this is about you kind of ending a one cycle to begin another cycle. This is coming into a bit of a rebirth basically, but it all starts with this initiation that you're going through. So it all hangs in the balance as to what you decide on this. And I'm getting something about not taking the easy option. Okay, it may be a decision that requires temperance. I wouldn't be surprised if temperance comes out today. It's been out a little while. Um, about having patience because there's something that, you know, requires a lot of purpose for you. And that is part of your initiation into the next level of your life. Answer. So it could be to do with communication. There's an energy of, so it's almost like as soon as I came here to this space, it was like messages were being communicated to me almost like things that have been held in truths that have been held in are suddenly coming to the surface and when they come to the surface it comes with this flood of emotion so you may be finding at this time when you're trying to express how you're feeling you're struggling because there's emotion behind it and maybe you don't want to show that emotion maybe you've been taught as a child to sort of you know it's it's weak to show your tears that kind of thing but I do feel now is a time, even if that emotion comes up in your words, it's time to release it. It's time to um, express your truth. One of the first messages that came here was about how when you start expressing your truth, when you start living authentically and truthfully, you will find you will lose people in your life. You just will. Because those people were hanging on to the version of you that you created probably for them. And because that person doesn't really exist anymore, or it never really existed in the first place, it was just a mask. They don't really understand who you're becoming and who you are now. But the more truthful you are, you know, in time you will find that you will resonate with other people who are also wanting to live authentically and in their truth. But the challenge for you there is trusting that they are being authentic. But the only thing you can do around this is just keep communicating with yourself. Keep communicating with the gods. Keep communicating and allowing that to be how you roll with your life, how you go with it. So let's see what else we have on here. Buzzard, did you see that? You'll see him in a minute. Buzzard coming round. Did you see it? Can you see it? You will in a minute. I don't know if he's going to go into the screen or not, but anyway, there was a buzzard literally just like, just took flight over there. It'll be back in a minute. 
think the crows are going to attack it, but you know. <laughs> so we've got T was. This is commitment. So you being authentically yourself, speaking your truth, even if it's wobbly, shaky, and has that emotion behind it, doing that is committing to yourself. You are saying to your higher self, like, I trust in this process. I trust what I'm being guided to do and where I need to be. You know, I do feel for many of you, you've been holding a lot of this emotion in for such a long time that it actually makes it difficult to believe that you can express it. Now, I'm not saying there you've got to go flying out the door, telling everybody how you feel um, and crying all the time. This is more about being guided by, you know, where is my truth and where is it important for me to speak that truth? Because this is about you raising your worth and understanding your worth. If you're telling yourself like, oh, well, I haven't got this and I haven't got that and nobody really cares about what I do or I don't do anything anyway, or I've only got this job and my job isn't really anything and I don't have any other skills or ambitions and things. It's not about having ambitions and skills and, and stuff like that. It's about you moving through your life authentically, knowing your worth and being content with yourself, basically. That's all it's about. You don't have to be some superstar. You don't have to be some, you know, someone with masses of followers and things like that and have some major skill that everybody's like in awe of you and bowing down to you, you know? How many people have you seen like that? And they, there's always, you know, what, is, what do they say? The further you climb, the harder you fall, basically. This is about you committing to yourself on the level of just what you want. And if what you want is actually something quite simple, which I feel for many of you it is. You want to live off the land. You want to sort of have quite a simple lifestyle, maybe living by a river or something, having a stream running through your home place. But in order to achieve that, there may be an element of you stepping out of your comfort zone in order to bring it into fruition in your life. So that's what I'm getting on there for you. So let's just get some cards to go with this. So let's get a card first of all for I was. What is your initiation all about? Okay, we have two out here. So the two pentacles and the hermit. So you've been in a lot of introspection. You've been in a lot of thoughts about making a choice, making a decision. And things have felt a little bit maybe out of balance recently. Um, you felt like you've had to juggle a lot of things. Um, and that's possibly pulled you away from really being able to stand in your power and say, this is what I actually want. This is where I want my life to be. But there is a light within you that's calling to you, something is calling to you to do something and to speak up about what it is that you wanna do, where you wanna be. Again, for many of you, I feel like it's about your environment, where you wanna live. Um, I'm getting something about father figure as well. So maybe, for some of you, you may be a father figure in your life, um, or for some of you, you may be looking for a father figure in your life, that kind of thing. Let's just see. So a father figure would be somebody that kind of like is the head of the family, is supportive, um, you know, is the provider, like in traditionally. So perhaps that's how you feel about yourself. It's like, I need to be the provider. I need to stand up here and, and be the one to sort of support. So let's see with answers. Why is answers here? What is the communication that needs to take place? Is that buzzard a answers here. I mean, yeah. Okay. The Eight of Wands. Now this is usually, again, about communication. This is somebody coming out with um, something that's going on at the moment in their life. It's very, can you see there's like a community there of deer? So it's almost like uh, this could be communicating with your family, actually. Um, bringing up something, like having a family meeting, that kind of thing. And this is quite... Um, a hasty energy quite a fast energy of but it's also contains a lot of good news and good luck 
So in you allowing yourself to show this emotion through your communication, it's actually going to have a positive impact and I do feel like it's actually going to bring you closer together with people because I do feel that the people around you, they already know this about you, they already feel this about you, but they, they're waiting for you to express it. They're waiting for you to say how you feel and what you need. And it's interesting how sometimes when you just sort of say what you need and you're expecting the other person to either avoid you or to not be interested or have something to say about it or laugh at you even, when actually what you find is they're like, okay, yeah, I'm coming to help you. I will help you. I do feel for some of you, you do need a little bit of help here and this is what you need to ask for. Does that help? So do you have anything else for answers? actually not as warm as I thought it was going to be today. <laughs> My hands are a little bit cold so it makes it hard to shuffle. Okay so again another eight. Now I do feel that this is, so eight is like the infinity symbol so it's constantly a bit like um, a cycle that you've been going through. There is something that you want to leave behind that you want to walk away from. We've got the devil and the eight of cups so I do feel, I see somebody here that perhaps you've acknowledged some addictions that you have in your life at the moment that you are walking away from, that you're letting go of, um, that you've had a realisation that these aren't actually fulfilling me, this isn't helping me in my life right now. And maybe that's what you want to communicate. Now, that may have a knock-on effect with people. Say for instance, I'll give you an example. Say for instance, you're in a relationship or a marriage, right? And you're both heavy drinkers. Now. If one of you is like, this isn't working for me anymore, this is making me feel crap and I've put on loads of weight and I just don't feel good about myself, and that person decides like, I'm not going to drink anymore, I'm going to stop drinking, you might be afraid to tell your partner because they may be a bit like, well, that means I've got to change what I'm doing and I'm actually quite happy doing this. It changes the dynamic of everything, doesn't it? And I do feel that that's possibly... Um, what you are feeling right now is like this is going to change everything in the dynamics of what everybody's known about me for a long time can I keep up with that can I do that but there is this real want for a fresh start for a new beginning within you because something really deep is calling to you and it's something within nature it's something like this is why I'm doing this here is to bring you closer to what is calling to you and there's something that needs to be let go of in order for you to, to be able to embrace that. Okay. So why is T was here? What's this one about? It's weird, I keep thinking there's a heron, but there's not. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what that's about. I have seen a heron here before, but I can just feel it's around, but it's, I can't see it. Okay, so you do have skills, like we said before, you do have skills and ambitions, but you're not tapping into them. You kind of like, you're not really fully embracing your power, your ability. And I do see somebody here that has the potential to be a teacher of some form. Um, you have a lot of information that you can help other people with, but you're holding back on that. But you are working on something. You are working towards something or you would like to work on something. Um, and this is about bringing balance, giving and receiving. So perhaps you are working towards giving and receiving in a balanced way towards something or somebody in your life right now. I do see somebody that's decided to put away the addictions because they're holding you back from moving forward or really feeling fulfilled in your life. And what you're moving into is actually working really hard. You're working very, very hard towards your goals. Your, you know, because you do have ambitions, you do have things that you want to achieve in life. Like I say, it doesn't have to be like a career thing. It could just be something that you that you really feel is calling to you at this time. Um, it may be improving your spiritual awareness, <clears throat> you know, spiritual development that you might be working on. Um, but there's something about bringing balance to connections in your life as well. It's sort of like making sure that you are giving as much as you receive. Um, you've kind of become aware of that, definitely become aware of that. Um, 
Okay, so what is it that you are working on? What are you working on? If ever you would like to book in a meditation with me in this space, I'll happily do that with you. We can do that as um, I'll put the devil away. We can do that as a meditation um, through Zoom or in person if you live close enough to me. Anyway, let's get back into it. <laughs> so, what do we have? So, what are you working so hard on at this time? something about vehicles as well on here I don't know if you're having problems with your vehicle um, maybe you need to go and get that sorted I do feel somebody that's sort of like every time they get paid it's like all the money goes out again you're like oh there's another bill that I have to pay and I do feel that is kind of making you feel some kind of um, grief or like just nothing really seems to be going your way but things are things are changing things are going to be changing on here but you you're not realising your full potential and the skills that you actually have that you could be utilising but you aren't. We have the Emperor, so this is like a promotion. So what you're working towards on here is actually going to elevate you, um, promote you, it's going to bring in more financial reward um, and stronger connections as well. I do feel on there. So. What else do we have for your future? Let's see, so near future, what can we give you to help you understand? So do you feel you are on the brink, if not already, having um, spoken your truth, opened up about authentically what you, what you want to happen in your life? And if you haven't already, then you are about to definitely about to with that eight of wands there so with the emperor on here what else do we have for the near future so the card flies out for us what do we have for the near future Keep seeing temperance, so there is an element of needing to have patience with this as well. Page of Swords, this is about clear, clear communication again. Um, somebody having sort of like um, an epiphany almost of like, I know um, what, what action I need to take at this time. But it's also kind of like having clarity, really seeing things clearly. And I do feel like if you haven't already, you will be seeing things clearly very very soon did you hear that buzzard it's around here somewhere it might come back if we see the buzzard again and I maybe you've been seeing buzzards a lot lately yourself or birds similar to that maybe a kestrel or something the way that they fly is they're connected to the vulture in um, symbolism so that again is that death and rebirth which connects us to I was so this is about you you know taking a higher perspective and allowing that release remember we said letting go of those addictions letting go of those things the old stories that you're telling yourself about yourself they don't resonate anymore so let's get a final outcome for what you're heading towards right now I really don't like it when that happens <laughs> what are you heading towards right now What are you heading towards right now? Now that made you feel excited a little bit, wanting to know what you're heading towards, what's coming towards you. We've got the Four of Cups on there now. This isn't a great one for what you're heading towards. It's almost somebody that's a little bit despondent, feeling a little bit bored. You're not seeing this cup here. You're, you're just sort of putting your energy into what you've lost. So it's kind of like a self-pity mode a little bit of victim mode on there um, so we need to make sure we avoid that 
we need to make sure we avoid that. So there may be an element in the near future of you kind of dropping into that space, but bef because we've announced that now, you know about it, you're accountable for that, you know what to do. And then we have the star. So when you can get past that, when you can get past that sort of like looking over things as to sort of like, oh, well, you know, this didn't work out, that didn't work out. Yeah, well, they're gone, but you can take the lessons from them and move forward. But you have a wish fulfillment. Something that you have been wishing for is going to be fulfilled in your near future. You are working hard right now towards that. And I do feel like for some of you, it's not working hard in the sense of a job. It's working hard on yourself, on moving through these addictions, moving through the things that are holding you back from fully embracing your life and moving forward with it. We have death on the bottom of there. So this is your time for really taking charge of like, right, I'm releasing that. I'm ready for a new beginning. I'm ready for something new to happen, to come into my life. I do feel you are on the verge, the brink of that happening but there's still an element of not really owning your truth for fear of how other people are going to react or respond to that. But how long can you hold on to that for without it really sort of crippling you, stopping you from moving forward and you'd stay in that apathy then? Five of cups on there. So there is regrets and things, but we have the ten of pentacles. So I see abundance in many forms for you on here you i do feel somebody that's quite family orientated but there's some things going on in your family right now that are making you feel a little bit like an outsider in your own family but we do have the three of cups on the bottom so i do see some new connections coming in for you new friendships um, new circles of people possibly even new relationships so what is that three of cups nine of cups two of cups okay so there's a desire that you want to be fulfilling um i mean this always reminds me of marriage like she looks like a bride on there doesn't she? she looks like somebody getting married there's something that is quite fulfilling for you in a desirable way that perhaps is on your mind right now when we looked at that ten of pentacles this is also in your near future so not only do i see you being okay on a financial level um because of the work that you're doing on yourself but I also see you having a desire met and fulfilled and we have on the bottom there the two of cups which is union that's two people coming together so if you are feeling a little bit lonely at the moment maybe if you feel like you would like to have a connection with somebody in you opening up this truth speaking your truth communicating that truth it does bring union it does bring that and I also feel like that's going to help you to tap into this potential getting your full-on magician out because um, that's what you need right now is to really tap into your skills your potential and you are you do have the ability to manifest things in your life but the addictions are holding you back something's holding you back that needs to be let go of let's get one final card to send you off with one final card and just keep watching in the background for that buzzard coming back as well that can be your sign of things to come, taking a new perspective. It's been beaten up over there by those crows. <laughs> okay, so final. No, don't blow away. Oh, my cards nearly blew away. Let's have a look. What is the final word that I can give you on here? I might have to cut the pack and just pick it out, to be honest. Okay, we have the lovers. <laughs> so, um, with the lovers, again, it can be down to choice. So you have, you do have a union coming in. You do have a connection that is on its way to you. Once you have opened up this truth and started to work through your addictions, then this is actually coming in. But you have a choice whether you accept it or not, whether you want this or not, whether you feel it's for you. Because I do feel somebody that kind of like is actually okay on their own um, or the way that you are going about connections, relationships. But there is a want for something more solid. Um, and there's this deep desire that's connected to nature, 
that I see you kind of wanting, where was the Ten of Cups? It was in here somewhere, not Cups, sorry, Ten of um, Pentacles. It's like this sort of lifestyle where there's like, you know, there's children around, happy families, lots of abundance. It's, this is what you want and a lot of passion as well. Um, that is what I see for you in your future. We have the Six of Wands too. So this is somebody that's really sort of like um, triumphant. You know, you can really sort of be proud of yourself for your achievements with this. So I'm going to leave this reading here for you. If any of that resonated with you and you would like to go further into it, we can go deeper into it. And also, if there is things that you are trying to let go of, um, like addictions and things like we said before, then do get in touch because I can help you to work through those with soul regression. Um, my details are in the description box. Um, you can also book in for a personalised reading as well if you wish. So please do like, subscribe and possibly comment as well. I love to hear your comments. If you like this environment as well, let me know and I'll try and do more readings around this area. So have a blessed day.